I mean, that's hard to do in, a, in about a month. Well. The 1 0 pitch to Ramirez. You know, when, when I say you don't look at the scoreboards and those averages early because those don't really cost you ball games because they were winning sometimes when they weren't scoring because the pitching was there. The starters and the bullpen when they started out. That, what we showed you there, that comes into effect of losses when you have a chance to win ball games. And it's, it's had a, a you know, effect on the starting staff and everything else. And that's, that's hard to, you know, keep picking yourself up night after night after night. Because you're leading to where I was getting at, and that is what you worry about. We've hinted at this: is the psyche effect when you're when you're giving away leads. It's, it's not so much, hey, you know, we we were down five to two, and then it was ten to two. No, you're up five to two, and you lose ten to five. Right. Those are the kind of losses that I think have to be a little more difficult to come back from, especially when it starts happening over and over again. Well, it, that's that's the thing, and you know what? Every team is going to win games they shouldn't win throughout the course of the year, and you're going to lose games you shouldn't lose. You know, but you got to keep those down to a minimum. You know, especially the ones when you should win, and you end up going to lose. That's what's going on right now with the Indians. They've had opportunities to win and just can't hold on to it. Out of play. This is where you really lean on your leaders. You said it before, it's easy to be a leader when things are going well. When you're winning, when you're getting outs and everybody's doing their job, but this is where you lean on people like Corey Kluber, Cody Allen. I mean, he's one of the leaders down in that bullpen. They're young, but Ramirez, Lindor, Kipnis, I mean, they have to come together as a team and really pull together. Yeah, you know, there's one thing, and you you see him say it a lot. Hey, you got to stick with the the process and the routine, and I, I totally agree with that. But there comes a point in time where you've got to do something to make a change or do something to turn this around, and you cannot continue to keep going out there. Two in the dirt. Heck of an at bat here by Ramirez. Two run homer in the first for, for Jose Ramirez. Gave the Indians the early lead. The lead they held until the eighth. Grant Houston put up a six spot. The two run homer by Ramirez in the first gives him 25 runs batted in, in his last 27 games played. Getting better than 320 in the month of May. Ball balls is that good in this at bat, Tommy? Seven. 
Seven foul balls for Jose. The 12th pitch of the at bat eventually. Stassi on the follow through. And they're going to send the troops out to take a look at him. Yeah, that extended swing comes back and gets him in the helmet. The front part of the mask. You know, this should have been the month where the Indians really took off. After an understandable slow start in April, the rain, the horrible weather. You know, travel to Puerto Rico and back. This, though, should have been the month where they took off. They're the highest run scoring team in baseball. The starters have been doing their part. Defense has been fine. But boy, that one area of the team has kept them from really getting out ahead of right. the pack. They're still right there at 500, about to slip below. Yeah, just treading water. Again, would you say 12 times they got to the 500? Mark? Yeah. And now about to fall under it again. After we see another foul ball, look at him. He's laughing about it now. <laughs> He's. He wants a base hit. That's what he wants. He's been shut out to the hell. Oh, he hit the two run home run in the first, but he wants one more. He's, he wants it. Back again. This is amazing. This could be a 10 minute at bat here by the time it's all said and done. He's flirting with 100 miles an hour, and Ramirez just keeps fighting it off. He's going to get his own show here for 10 minutes. It's a seven minute at bat right now. The 15th pitch of this at bat. He may just walk him just so he doesn't have to keep pitching to him. Look at that. Another 99 mile an hour. Well, that, I mean, the crowd that stayed, they're into it. Let's go. They want to see him get a base hit now. He's worked too hard. Look at they're all saying, are you kidding me? Look at the Astros infielders, arms folded, hands on yeah. hips. Like, come on, are you kidding me? 11 foul balls. Get a base hit here, Jose. They'll love it. Out in front, Make spoiled it another. Dozen. From 99 to 88, you still can't get one by him. <laughs> Look at they're all they're all into it. Look at these laps. Say, geez, let's go. We got to go to New York after this. He just said this at bats over eight minutes long. Yeah. That a boy. Broke to deep right field. Unbelievable. Off the wall, he almost hit a home run. He'll head to second base, sliding in head first with a double. What an at bat for Ramirez, hey. his 16th of the year. Look at the crowd, they're standing up. That is simply awesome. I, I, I agree with him. You want to talk about wanting something, and I don't care what the score is, he wanted a base hit, he ends up hitting a line drive, and Giles continued to throw strikes. Give him credit. But Ramirez won that battle and it was well earned, I'll tell you that. Beautiful. His second hit of the day and his 16th double. Talked before about leadership. That's how you lead right there. Game's uh, you know, you're down five in the ninth. I'm not saying the game's out of hand, but you know, things haven't gone your way, and he's up there fighting tooth and nail. 17 pitch at bat and ropes it double off the wall right there. There's a guy that normally gets 200 hits every year. He was 10 for his last 10 until he made it out. He said, how'd you do that? <laughs> He's probably asking him. Well, I'll tell you what, that was that was a special at bat for me. That was beautiful.